Welcome to the New Release Tuesday update from NewReleaseTuesday.com, featuring something new in Christian music each week. What's up? I'm Bill Lerwick. This is the New Release Tuesday update from NewReleaseTuesday.com. All right, Carrie, how you doing? I'm glad we can get this uh, hooked up here. You're a busy gal. <laughs> yes, it's exciting. We're excited about what God's doing uh, with you and uh, the debut project. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing. I was doing some some research right now and your project's at number one on the iTunes Christian sales chart and am I correct that it's the only Christian release in the Billboard's top 100 right now too? Yes, you are correct. Wow! I know. Not too bad. How does that make you feel? It's pretty cool. I think, um, I wish I could I wish I could talk to some of the like Britney Spears and them to see if they're like who is this chick? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> about her debut self-titled project on Integrity that's now available this new release Tuesday. Would it be safe to say that the songs on your debut project are almost individual and devotional pieces that the listener can learn from? Absolutely. And that's really where they came from. Mm -hmm. In my personal time with the Lord of journaling and spending time in His presence. And then that's my favorite kind of worship music is where I can just turn it on and it just really helps me connect to the Lord, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. And um, I got a lot of, you know, emails and uh, Facebook, my things like that mm-hmm. before I did the project, just of what my music, um, what people feel like it does for them, like mm-hmm. how it helps them in their quiet time, where they play it over their babies when they're going to sleep, or mm-hmm. they played it in their hospital room when one of their family members has been going through something, just different things like that. And so I just really felt that that was something that the Lord has just put on my life to do that, to be a ministry in that kind of way. And so I didn't want the CD to be too, too big sounding so that people could still do that. with her self-titled debut release that's featured in our new artist watch at newreleasetuesday.com. It's an awesome responsibility and it's uh, evident that you've really taken ownership of those uh, emails and messages and and things that you've received that uh, you take very seriously the calling that God has placed upon your life to be a worship uh, leader, don't you? I do. And I count it such a privilege and an honor. I mean, I'm getting to do my favorite thing in the world and I just get to do it all the time. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just pretty cool. I can totally relate to you. I love what I do too and I count a blessing every day. You know, but you said that when you were asked to be a worship pastor at Gateway that it kind of caught you off guard. Why was that? Well, because I was traveling doing, you know, ministering in churches and just doing the worship stuff and I figured being a pastor meant I would have to like you know, settle down mm-hmm. and stay home, and I think <laughs> that would probably happen, like, you know, when I got married and later in life, mm-hmm. you know, and, but they just helped me to realize that it's more than just um, a title or just a, a calling, you know, yeah, yeah. it did not have to look the same for everyone. down my face because of your love and your sweetest just overflows It's here that I know You have been waiting to sleep me away Sweep me away in your love When nothing else 
do become fuller and you have more ministry opportunities, how important is it is it for you to, to maintain that, uh, that personal time with the Lord that you have? Very, and the busier you get, the more that, you know, you're walking into your calling, the harder it is to really set that, side, that time aside, you know, and have to fight for it, mm-hmm. have to, you know, guard that time. and You have to learn to say no, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's a sacrifice, you know, and it's a life of sacrifice, but that's part of what praise and worship is, is, you know, bringing a sacrifice of praise to the Lord, not always on stage in front of people. It shouldn't be that. More, more than that, it should be just in your time, you know, at home and stuff. Tell us what it's like to write with folks like Paul Balazs, Chris Talman, Ed Kausch. How do you guys uh, birth these great worship classics that you come up with? Wow, that's a good question. Um, they, I feel like you could just say, um, let's write a song about the color green. And they'd be like, okay. And they just start writing. <laughs> 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 They're so easy to write with. And really what I did was just took my vision and my heart for what I wanted on this project and just said, okay, I really need, I want to write a song just about praise. Mm -hmm. You know, just giving people more about who God is just so that we can praise Him, you know, Mm -hmm. in that song. And um, so just, you know, I'll just take scenes and they just run with it. And I've learned a lot from them too, just different ways to not not squelch your creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, I really I laugh a lot about Tom when he he made a comment while we were writing. He's like, "Okay, I'm gonna dare to be terrible. Like this, this might be a terrible idea, but I'm just gonna jump out there." Mm-hmm. And it ended up being the whole chorus on "Everyone Needs a Little." Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, okay, you can dare to be terrible, but your terrible thought is probably gonna be amazing. You know, so. That's really cool. It's just good. It just got me laughing. When I wait so long, when my tears were my song, with my hope nearly gone, you held me, God, to believe. The song uh, that has gone to radio uh, is I'm Singing. Um, tell us about that. That's a fun one. It, Ed Cash, when I went to meet him to, for him to see if he was going to be my producer, mm-hmm. he had the chorus for that song. And I was telling him I wanted to write a song about just the nations to get, to get us to think more about a lot of the things that are going on when we worship. Mm-hmm. I, you know that it's not just about what we're thinking, but we're joining creation. We're it's about something way bigger than ourselves. And uh, he's like, "Man, I just read this course the other day." So he played it, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, I love that!" So I was like, "Save that, so when we write together, we can finish that." He's like, "Okay, done." So when we sat down to write it, Tomlin was in town that weekend. Mm-hmm. So we, that's how that whole thing came about. And it's just really that. It's a, it's just an, to get people to think more about kings and oceans and you know mountains and just things that it's not just us praising God. There's a lot more to it. For a complete look at all the new releases in Christian music this week, plus to listen to an entire new project for free all week long and earn points for great prizes and more, you've got to stop by NewReleaseTuesday.com for the New Release Tuesday update. I'm Bill Lerwick. Now, go enjoy the music. This is the New Release Tuesday update from New Release.